Don't care, die for my wrist life. Life, we gon' live it up. Neck, we gon' glitter it up. Dice game, get them, girl. Yeah. Gon' bet it up. Grind and invest it. Invest, play the main role, not the action. Made movies like Netflix. Never domestic. Watching the necklace. Young enough restless. You know who the best is. Three quarter Gucci Mane with the first shoe. Got a, got a girl and a girl got a girl too. Hit me with the fab like put it in the bag. Pull up with my new tank like I know she mad. Greetings Transit Community and welcome to the review of the Grand Avenue Bus Depot. The Grand Avenue Depot is located between 47th Street and 49th Place on the north side of Grand Avenue in Massbeth, Queens, on the former site of a car rental business and near the south end of Newtown Creek. This modern 600,000 square foot environmentally friendly facility is the first of its kind for the New York City Transit Authority. The contract for the depot was awarded in 2003 to Grand Knight Construction Northeast with the design created by Janet Fleming. The facility partially opened in 2007 and housed 19 buses, then fully opened on January 6, 2008. Upon opening, the Grand Avenue Depot took on many routes and buses from the nearby Fresh Pond Bus Depot, relieving overcrowding at that facility. The building design meets environmental management systems known as the ISO 1401 specifications. The four-story building includes four fueling and defueling stations, cleaning and storage facilities for 200 buses on the first floor, an advanced 27 bus central maintenance facility on the second floor, admin offices for New York City Department of Buses on the third floor, and parking garages for empty employees on the roof. The new central maintenance facility is able to repair and maintain the newer fleet of diesel, diesel hybrid electric, 60 foot articulated, express coach and compressed natural gas buses and has expanded the capability of the current east new york central maintenance facility for brooklyn and queens the facility also has four environmentally friendly paint booths self-contained that avoid the spread of contaminants the building meets the needs of expanding demands relief of overcrowding at the brooklyn division's other six existing bus garages and upgrading the department of buses facilities to be state-of-the-art from both an environmental and technological standpoint. Also, work to modify this depot to accommodate articulated buses has been complete, with the B38 route converted to articulated buses as of September 1st, 2019, and for electrically powered buses that are currently underway for future use. Now moving on to the depot's rosters. The route it rosters are B24, B32, B39, B47, B48, B57, B60, B62, and Q59. Now for their bus fleets. This depot 
rosters the 2015 New Fly Excelsior XZ40s, next the 2018 and 2019 New Fly XZ40s, third 2018 New Fly Excelsior XZE40s, fourth 2021 New Fly Ex Excelsior XZE40s, and lastly the, two, two, the 2012 and 2013 New Fly Excelsior XZ60s. Now, the depot's history. When this depot opened, it dispatched routes that were the B10, B24, B43, B47, B48, B51, B57, B60, B61, and Q59. The buses they operated were the 1990 through 1998 TMC and Nova Bus RTS T80206s and the 2005 Daimler Chrysler Orion 7 Ogen hybrids. Meanwhile, the RTS from early 1990s were newly repowered with the, diesel, the Detroit Diesel Series 50 engine. This was because the Detroit Diesel 6V92 engine was far below the reach of the Environmental Protection Agency's code of emissions, and the 9-11 attack caused the worst air quality for the residents citywide. And these buses were close to reaching retirement within two years, uh, two years later among, among the retired 1980s GMC and TMC RTSs. By 2009, the B13 route was transferred from Fresh Pond Depot, and the B62 was created to split off from the B61 by January 2010. On November of that year, Grand Avenue got their new exclusives, the Orion 7 Next Generation Hybrids, which are the successors of their Orion 7 Old Gens. They were brought to the depot to retire the early to mid-1990s RTS by 2011. A and in 2010, the B38 route was transferred from Fresh Pond Depot. A year later, it became a split route with Fresh Pond Depot. And with more next generation hybrids delivered, some or all old gen generation hybrid buses have been transferred to other depots like, New like East New York Depot. In September 2013, the B32 was established to run between Long Island City and Williamsburg. This was only eight months after the B39 route was brought back from the brink of, extin of extinction in 2010. And this route solely serves the Williamsburg Bridge between the terminal at the entrance of the bridge and the lower east side of Manhattan. Later on, Grand Avenue Depot had a mile change proposed by the, by the Department of Buses. In order to conclude the mileage curve with Yukon Depot on Staten Island, they were given a few of their 1999 Orion 5s from that depot and give their next generation hybrid buses to the island. Two years later, in 2015, with the retirement of the Orion 5s, this depot was receiving the new deliveries of the 2015 New Fire Excelsior XZ40s. There were over 60 of these buses delivered at a fast pace, like every other depot in the Brooklyn Bus Division. By September 2017, Grand Avenue Depot was assigned a temporary assignment with the M Train Shuttle due to the reconstruction of the viaduct between Myrtle Avenue stations on Broadway and Wackoff Avenue. To run the M Shuttle, Tuskegee Airmen Depot transferred some of their 2017 New Fly XZ60s to Grand Avenue, providing shuttle service. In fact, Grand Avenue was the very first depot in, Brooklyn, in the Brooklyn Bus Division to have XZ60s. Until April 2018, when the construction was completed on the M train line, these XZ60s were sent back to Manhattan and the Michael J. Cole bus depot. A month before, in March, Grand Avenue Depot gave up their last 1998 RTSs numbered in the 9000 series range. These RTSs were prematurely retired like other citywide due to the wheelchair lift mechanisms facing the preparation stage for zero emission buses. They were given five of their 2017 Proterra Cadillac VE40s in December 2017 and had five electric charging ports plugged in at the depot. Those buses had a three-year lease and primarily ran the B32 route. Then, they started running more Grand Avenue-based routes a few months later. But these aren't the only buses they received. They had received the 2018 New Fly Excelsior XDE40s as hybrid pilot buses in a new generation phase in order to prepare for the city-wide retirement of the Orion 7 Old Gens and Next Generation Hybrids. With their first three buses delivered to the city in March 2018, they started running service on June 29th of that year on the Q59 route. Then, over the next few months, throughout the summer, more units ran more routes around Brooklyn and Queens, and the rest of the delivered units were delivered late in 2019. Those are delivered in 10 units, with the first five powered by Allison Propulsion and the rest by BAE Hyperdrive Propulsion. And later on, by, sem by September 2018, they received their new 2018 New Fly XZ40s, followed by the rest of the 2019 units. On January 2019, Grand Avenue faces a new winter pick change of their routes. Fresh Pond Bus Depot was assigned to dispatch 48, B48, B57, and B60 from this depot. And Grand Avenue Bus Depot took the Q58 from 
Fresh Pond Depot. After they transferred routes, 2019 was the year for, for this depot, like every other depot, to, re to retire their last set of the 1999 RTSs. In February of that year, it was the end of their RTS history after 11 years of operation. Between this month and, Jan and January, five of the XD40 pilot buses they had since 2018 were sent to Michael J. Quill Depot and Jamaica bus depots in Manhattan and Queens to further collect data on their future hybrid bus order readiness. Then, they were sent back to Grand Avenue Depot. In April 2019, the MTA was reconstructing the tunnel tunnels for the L train. While they were shut down, they developed the Williamsburg Bridge Service Loop Shuttle Program with routes such as the B91 and B92. East New York, Fresh Pond, and Grand Avenue Depot were dispatched for these routes. By June 2019, due to low ridership, they had made the B91A to replace both of those routes, and Grand Avenue Depot was the only one to drive on it. Then in September, the B91A was discontinued and the whole Williamsburg Shuttle Loop Program was officially terminated. This depot was give, gifted with the ability to permanently run articulated buses. Therefore, the B38 that they, uh, that they operate was taken away from Fresh Pond Depot in order to convert this route to articulated bus service. On September 1st, 2019, after the whole summer of receiving the 2012 through 2013 Nuclear XD60s from the Bronx, they started to debut service on the B38 route between downtown, downtown Brooklyn and Ridgewood, Queens. And it was these buses' first time seeing Brooklyn bus service since they were delivered to New York City in 2013. By January 2020, three routes such as the B48, B57, and B60 went back to Grand Avenue Depot and the Q58 went back to Fresh Pond Depot. Later on, COVID-19 took over the globe as a pandemic. By June 2020, Grand Avenue had given away a few sets of their XZ60s to Omer Park, Omer Park Bus Depot as that depot was projected to have the B1 route become an articulated bus route. By October 2020, the Brooklyn and the Queens Bus Division were working on retiring the Orion 7 Old Gen Hybrid Gen 2s from 2004 and 2005. While this retirement projection was being made, one bus, the 2011 New Fly XZ40 number 4814, was transferred from East New York Bus Depot to Grand Avenue Bus Depot. This bus was there for over a week until it went back to its respective depot as it was the first time Grand Avenue had a 2011 XZ40 in service. After that transfer concluded, Grand Avenue sent their 2015 XZ40s to East New York to help get rid of their old gen hybrid buses, sending them to Fresh Pond Depot. Plus, they had sent their next generation hybrid buses away, even as loans. After East New York got all of their old gen hybrids out of their fleet, this depot and other depots got their buses back to their respective spots. The year 2021 came around and Grand Avenue was proposed to receive their new exclusive, the 2021 New Flyer XDE 40s. This is their second order of these new Flyer manufactured hybrid buses since they received the 2018 New Flyer XDE 40s as their pilot buses. And they were the second bus depot to receive these new buses after East New York Bus Depot in December 2021. Besides these new buses, the Proterra BE 40s they received in 2017 had their lease expired. Therefore, all five of them were trans were referred to the bus vendor and JFK and then sent back to the Proterra manufacturing property. And some of their Orion 7 next generation hybrids were sent to Manhattanville bus people for weeks due to MAP Stoa's LFS hybrids being grounded for electrical component struggles at the foreclosed 126th Street bus depot. After the depots in Manhattan and the Bronx got their LFS back, Grand Avenue was given back their buses and also had to send them to MTA bus company depots in Queens. This transfer was caused by not only the deliverer of the 2021 New Fly XZ40, but MTA Bus Company was projected to retire their last generation of old gen hybrids they had since 2006 through 2007. By February 1st, 2023, Grand Avenue officially had ended their era of the Daimler Chrysler Orion 7 buses since 2009. As that was completed, they now became the second depot to be a full new flyer Excelsior Bus Depot after Oma Park Depot in 2019. As they have the fleet, Grand Avenue Depot has consistently exchanged their XD60s and XD40s around the Brooklyn Div Bus Division throughout the summer, even as loans too. Those buses went back to their depots each of the following days. They had also inquired about some XD60s from Oma Park Bus Depot until a, few, a select few went back, as well as Grand Avenue Depot exchanged after they gave up all of their Orion buses. On September 24, 2023, the B60 route was introduced to the pilot program to be fare free until March 2024. You can be notified by its green coded signages as its accessibility, but recently, MCA plans to extend their time. 
on March 5, 2004, as Grand Avenue Depot was proposed to have electric buses since they last had them in 2021, Michael J. Cole Depot gave them a 2023 Nufa XE40, a 40-foot electric-powered Excelsior for one week. Since it started service on March 8th, it has ran the V38, V48, V60, and V62 until it went back to Quill on March 11th. To analyze, the Grand Avenue Bus Depot is really a depot that has bus operators do as much hauling as possible. Since 2008, the infrastructure of the depot is really following up to being a backup central maintenance facility with a modular appearance. While growing up, the V47 route is mostly my closest Grand Avenue Depot route I am grateful to have. But due to its terminal at King's Plaza, it should be much more corresponding with Flatbridge Depot like it was before 2008. In fact, the B47 served as a school trip route for Flatbush Depot until after the pandemic. But my conclusion for that route was that it's supposed to be filling in for the B7 bus service, which is a rent run free Fresh Pond Depot route that wasn't easy to catch during my childhood, even when it was based out of East New York Depot until 2013. Though I didn't have much experience with other routes like the B39 and B57, these routes are much more likely to be Grand Avenue route. But here's what I forgot. March 2023 wasn't the first time I rode the B457. It was August 2022 as I was working in a canvassing campaign in downtown Brooklyn. I was riding the B57 from Butler Street towards Atlantic Avenue with a 2021 XDE40. And the last time I rode the Q59 was July 2022 on a 2015 XDE40 when I was on my way to Greenpoint from Williamsburg Bridge Plaza. Speaking of the Williamsburg Bridge Plaza, this terminal is a well-liked terminal to see much of Grand Avenue Depot's fleet spread out like for other depots that were involved in it. And the B and the B39, it replaced the fund with the B51 that was discontinued in 2010, which ran on the Manhattan Bridge. Now back to Grand Avenue Depot, the property and its workers are following godly standards. However, since 2018, this depot has been shown to be vulnerable to boundary violations. In, 20, in November 2018, an invasion of aggressive raccoons has been plaguing, plaguing the Grand Avenue Bus Depot in Queens and a Jackie Gleason Bus Depot in Brooklyn for several months. In March 2022, a spy-like hidden camera behind a toilet at the Grand Avenue Bus Depot in Massapequa, Queens. <laughs> These are the examples of the invasion that plagued some of the workers' trust of safety and investigation that was taken over to free the trauma. And it can happen to any of the depots too. As for the bus fleets, their buses have a fair chance of following up less emission goals for the city. And the newer buses with a hybrid source are the conclusions to making this goal. As they expect to get electric buses, they could likely do so by at least two years later in time. If you were to ask me what are my favorite buses from, this, from the depot, it is the 2021 new fly XDE40s. I also wish they have XE40s right now, besides Michael J. Quill having it. Now I'm not alone in this review. Let's hear it. Our, our the, the thoughts of the, about this depot from my friend Chelsea. Take it away. I remember Grand Avenue used to have 2017 Botera BE40s. The number was 0016 all the way 0020. But sadly, it's not there anymore because it went to Port Authority of New York and New Jersey. I still had the video that is from 2018, which is, was 2005 Orion 7 Old Generation 6626 on the Q59. Here's the video I'm going to show you guys. remember back in 2017 all the way to 2018 Grand Avenue borrowed Tusty Airmen the Manhattan Division 
the 2017 New Flyer XD60 for the M shuttle from Merowaikov all the way to Mer Avenue Broadway. No matter what, Grand Avenue will always be my favorite um, depot of Brooklyn Division. So, yeah. Anyways, this is about it about Grand Avenue. Thank you so much for having me to be participate about Grand Avenue Depot. Back to you, my good friend Satrick. Now, as a conclusion, the rate of this depot is nine, 9 out of 10. So, thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and happy Easter. Oh, damn, oh, damn, oh, damn. I'm so perplexed with just one breath I'm locked in. Oh, damn, oh, damn, oh, damn. I'm so perplexed on that it's almost shocking. I know, I know, you know, you're scared, your heart, your mind, your soul, your body. Yeah. They won't, they won't, they won't be careful, but I guess that you don't know me. Cause if I want you, and I want you, babe, and going backwards, won't ask for space. The space was just a word made up by someone who was afraid to get to. Being speechless But now, but now Somehow my words roll off my tongue Right onto your lips Oh I'm keeping cool While you keep smiling Saying all the things I'm thinking Oh, baby. oh man, oh man I am like you So I won't prove from what you're feeling Cause if I want you and I want you, babe And going backwards I'm nice asking for space Cause space is just a word made up by someone who's afraid to get to Je suis désolé, pour moi je 
Place for your passion. 